Hey everyone and welcome back to another GT Online Weekly Updates video. Going about it this week, we have got a new vehicle on the Kisuna Podium. It is the Trophy Nero Custom. Not the normal variant, but the custom variant of that. An upgraded variant, I can say. And you guys can win it for free from the Kisuna Podium, if you are lucky enough. If not, check out the video where you can learn how to absolutely win it. As you can see, I just won my lucky day. And moving on to the discounts that we have this week, we have the Overflowed Imogon on sale. This is not that great of a vehicle, you know, there's nothing special of it either, so you can just totally skip that. Moving on, we have the Pegasi Infernus Classic on sale, and there is also the Grotti X80 Proto on sale. This used to be one of the fastest cars back in the day, but now it's completely outdated. And then we have the Bravado Gauntlet Classic Custom on sale this week. Not the stock version, but the custom variant where you take this car to the Benny's or the CEO office workshop or even the Arena vehicle workshop and you have and you get the option to upgrade them to the custom variant, right? So that particular custom variant is on discount this week. Then moving on to the Wasta Occasion Carry website, we have a few discounts going on here. The Scramjet is on sale this week. This is more of a fun vehicle totally depends if you guys want it or not and down below we have the thruster the kanjali got a few on sale here the thruster is absolutely useless the kanjali is a better version of the rhino tank so depends if you want a tank and then there's the rcv which too is actually not useful and finally we have the chernobog this well i would say it would be beneficial if you have a friend or another person in the back side but if you're a solo player I don't see much purpose for you guys until and unless you go behind uh, griefers and tryhards. Then we have the rocket wall take. This is outdated. And finally, we have the Hydra on sale. Probably the only vertical takeoff and landing fighter jet in the game. And along with all those, we also have the Avenger on sale. The vehicle in itself, as well as all of the renovations and upgrades to it. But I can't show it to you guys. As you can see, I have purchased all of the upgrades and renovations and. Uh, and I can't show the discount prices but nonetheless they are on sale if you didn't have it and want to get it this is a good time for you guys as it's on 35% discount this week then moving on to the Maze Bank Foreclosure website we have the facilities on sale this week the facility as well as the renovations and upgrades to it have 40% discount on them now just know that this is not a business but more like a heist property just like the apartment so if you're a solo player then this is absolutely not worth getting because it's going to be a dead investment until and unless you have a lot of money and don't mind spending and just so you know this also comes with a seven car garage storage so if you guys wanted more vehicle storage then you can get this and then moving on to the time trials we have the normal time trials going on the Wynode hills near the observatory with a power time of two minutes four seconds this is actually a repeated one and for the RC time trials, we have it in the construction site 1, which is, you know, repeated for the 10th or the 11th time. I can't even remember how many times this is repeated. So nothing new here. Then moving on to the bonuses, we have the usual one that is the motor wars on triple money this week. So it's going to be ending the upcoming week. That is the first week of June. So this is the last week for you guys to, you know, take advantage of it and make some money. Then adding to that, we also have the stunt races on triple money this week. But just know that not all of the stunt races are on triple money, just that are in the particular stunt category. Those are on triple money this week, as you can see right here. And Rockstar has also added eight new stunt races to the game. So you guys can give it a try if you're bored with doing other activities. Give these a try and, and probably make some money playing these. Then moving on, we also have double money bonus going on the Simeon's Repo Missions. There's about 8 of these and the good thing is that you can do them completely solo. But I would suggest, you know, do it with another person or maybe a friend as it makes it easier for you instead of having to spend time going here and there and uh, taking longer to complete them. Having a friend or someone to help is going to be hugely beneficial for you guys. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Those are all the bonuses and discounts that's going on for this week. And just so you guys know, the Panther statue has been removed from the Cayo Perico heist. So no matter how many times you try this week, you won't be able to find it. So we are not sure when Rockstar is going to add it again. But also another disappointment was that you could only steal it just once. That was actually ridiculous. I mean, just once in a whole week. So I know a few guys tried it many times to get it, but failed ultimately. 
but that's with that and also the fireworks launcher is available for free this week so if you wanted to get it you guys can go to the ammunition store and claim it for free so yeah those are all the stuff that's going on for this week guys if there's any new dlc info or any of that sort i'll surely be updating it to you all so in the meantime do drop the video a like and stay tuned by subscribing to the channel thank you all and have a good day